So we're done with the motivation. In this session, I'd like to take the transformation in the polar coordinate. Sorry, in the cylindrical coordinate. We are done with the polar coordinate. So rectangular to the cylindrical coordinate. So once again, I ask the question, do we know the transformations? That is a big yes, because we know that our x to give us r cos theta, our y to give us r sin theta, and then our z is z. Let me write this. Well, okay. So we are moving from x, y, z to some r, z, and theta. It means that my Jacobian should be given in terms of xr, xd, x theta. The same for the y part. This is partial derivative, so you must be able to do it. X respect to r, I get cos theta. X respect to z zero. I have negative r sine theta for the last part. Respect to r here gives me sine theta. Y respect to z zero. Y respect to theta gives me r cos theta. Z respect to r is zero. Z respect to itself is one. Z respect to theta is also zero. This is a three by three matrix or determinant of three by three. How do you do that? So I pick the first one for theta. I'll have the parameter zero. I'll for theta one zero plus zero. If I take zero, I'm not really sure. I don't really care what I have in between this because it will still give me zero minus r sine theta. I'll have sine theta zero zero one. It's as if my theta is equal to zero. No? Okay. If I simplify further, I'm going to get cos theta here. Negative r cos theta. Minus r sine theta here. Sine theta. If I simplify further again, I'm going to get negative r cos square theta minus r sine squared theta. I can just factorize r out or negative r out and I get cos squared theta plus sine squared theta. And if trigonometry is equal to one, it means my Jacobian is negative r. Having done this, we can do our substitution. And so I use a different marker here which says that if I'm moving from the Cartesian of x, y, z, the x, the y, the z, it is equivalent to r, z, theta of the absolute of Jacobian, the r, d, z, the theta. And so this is the same as my triple the Jacobi of negative r, whatever I have here. Now, what is the absolute of negative r? The absolute of negative r is simply r. And so I have r, d, r, d, z, d, theta. This is how come we had this domain whilst we evaluate the cylindrical coordinate. It is by change of variables again in terms of substitutions. So with respect to substitution. And so you can quickly go through this and then you'll be fine. And I hope with this two um, example, that is polar to cylindrical, you can easily evaluate that of spherical. So I give the preamble for spherical and I trust you can continue with that. Let me move to that of um, rectangular to spherical. We are moving from x, y, z to some r, theta, five. Do we know the transformations here exactly? 
No. A state actually be given as our sign theta plus theta. Y should be given as R sine phi sine theta. And then Z is given as R cos phi. And so what is our Jacobian? Our Jacobian will be given as X R X theta X phi. Y R Y theta Y phi. Z R, Z theta, Z phi. You must take your time when you are doing the partial derivatives, else you will not get a desired result. So I quickly write out what I expect in this three by three matrix, and then you find the determinant. So X respect to R, I'm going to get sine phi cos theta. With respect to theta, I have negative sine phi, sine theta. And in respect to phi, I'll get R cos, let me see here. With respect to phi, I have R cos phi cos theta. Okay. Then I come to a second row. That is why respect to R, I'll simply have sine phi, sine theta. The second part gives me R sine phi cos theta here. Yeah. And the last gives me R cos phi sine theta. You must be careful with the special derivatives. Z respect to R, I'll simply get cos phi. Respect to theta, there's no theta here, so I'll get zero. Respect to phi, I'll get negative R sine phi because it is cause. This is three by three, so I'll leave you to fish out how to get a determinant. And in that you're expecting to get negative R sine phi. It means that my initial guys, which were Y, Z, is giving us my new guy, the Jacobian, then whatever happens here. And so I have a triple integral, f of r theta phi. The Jacobian of this is negative r sine phi. It will still be what r sine phi. r sine phi, and so I have the r, the theta, the this is how we had that domain when we're looking at spherical. And so please take your time and make sure you get this from the three by three determinants here. And that is simply with our transformations. In my next sessions, we wouldn't go through spherical or polar or cylindrical. But we look at a general transformation where we can move from x u or x y to some u v's or to some u v w's. How do we move into that? And that will be for the next sessions. All right. So stay tuned for more videos on change of variables.